This is my 1999 Jaguar XK8 convertible. Well, I guess you probably guessed it was a convertible, but the first picture you saw. My baby here, she has an issue or two. But today, we're going to be dealing with a steering issue. Look, Jaguar. It's not a Jaguar. Okay, America, learn. It's called Jaguar, which is why I have this plate, so that you can learn how to pronounce it correctly. The same as you would say Porsche, not Porsche. Time for a little lesson, huh? All right, guys, let's move on. This baby has had a couple of issues. Well, there's no surprise there. The ride down the road is a little less stable than I would like it to be. It wanders from side to side a little. So I got underneath this to see if I could see what was wrong. After checking tire pressures and all the usual things, and I got hold of the sway bar, is what you call it. We call it the anti-roll bar across the pond. However, doesn't matter what it's called, I grabbed it and I could move it from left to right with no trouble. And I decided, okay, the bushes need replacing, and so do the sway bar links. So therefore, that is what I'm going to do. And you, for your sins, by tuning into my channel, are going to watch me do it. There will be lots of, my God, gush, this is amazing, and a few blue-coloured words. As they would say... Pardon my French. I'm never sure why that one came about, but probably because the French are, um... All right, the components that I have to install are the nice new sway bar mounts from my little friends at s &G Barrett. No, they don't pay me to say this. Uh, part number, if you care to know, is MJA2102CE. That is the part number. Then you also need to replace the sway bar links. And don't waste your fucking time just doing the anti-roll bar bushings without doing these links. And as you can see... Part number MJA2105AG. And yes, you need two of each. I cannot remember the numbers off the top of my head, as in dollar wise. These were two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars. These were like fifteen dollars each. You gotta do them. Don't screw around. This is control of your vehicle. This is you going off the road if you don't do it. So don't mess around. All right, guys. Let's get started. Well, hello there, my fellow subscribers. I know you're all excited for another one of my enthralling videos. You just cannot wait to see what's going to happen. And uh, some of you may even recognize the underside of this particular vehicle. It is my Jaguar XK8. But I guess the title of the video was a bit of a giveaway there. I was driving it not so long ago. Um, and it didn't feel particularly nice on the road. Wow, I thought. Hmm, need to do something about that. So I got underneath the car to try and figure out why it kind of wandered a bit. And I wasn't sure. And I've looked around and the control arm bushes and all of that seem perfectly okay. 
Then I looked at my sway bar here. This. And I thought, hmm, okay, let's see how that is. So, watch. <laughs> um, a little movement is acceptable. That is not acceptable. <laughs> it's, it's, um, moves kind of uh, a little too freely for my liking. <laughs> so, what I have done is I have purchased the parts, as you saw at the beginning of this clip. <laughs> it's just, oh dear, no wonder it didn't feel too good on the road. So, um, I looked at doing it from underneath, which you would think is the logical place to do this. The nuts are on top of this frame up here where my hand is. Um, the only way I can see that it can be done is by taking the wheels off, the front wheels of course, no point in taking the back ones off, and <laughs> removing the liners so that I can get to where the bushes are and also the uh, sway bar links. So next thing to do is to jack this baby up and take the wheels off and have a look. If I'm wrong, well, how could I possibly be wrong? Ha! Yeah, right. Believe that, you'll believe anything. Uh, so I will now be taking the wheels off. I'm not going to show you taking wheels off. If you guys don't know how to take wheels off, you shouldn't be doing this anyway. Uh, so there you go. And as you can see, I have a little bit of an oil leak there. Something else to deal with. And those of you that are really smart looking at this will tell you this car is a convoidable. And that's why there is that extra brace there. I'm not quite sure why or how they decided that that was what was needed, but they did. And who am I to argue? I am no engineer. I just have to work on the crap they build. All right, wheels off, and then we will have a look in the wheel arch. All right, so I have now taken off the inner wheel arch. Didn't give me as much access as I would have liked. However, I can actually see the nut heads. And it remains to see how difficult they are to get out. It may be a combination of doing it underneath and above. However, obviously it does give me easy access with the wheel off to get to these links. I was hoping to be able to do one side at a time, but I don't think that's going to occur, so I'm going to undo everything. Um, whilst I have these inner wheel arch covers off, it may interest some of you to know certain things that are hidden. This is rather interesting. This one seems to have an indication of, uh, I don't know, I, I guess a light on it, um, which relates to this out here. Yet, on the other side, there are no wires going to it. Also, whilst I'm here, I noticed that the, there were some scrapings on the top of the wheel arch. So that tells me, really, that these shock absorbers are uh, at the end of their life, and so are the springs. So I'm going to replace the whole struts. And I don't know if you can see there, the bushing at the bottom of this shock has basically collapsed. So that is something else that... Uh, needs to be dealt with. The bushings here are beginning to split so I'm going to be replacing those. Let me uh, take you around to the other side. And that's the washer bottle so that's okay. So let's go around the other side. There's something there and I will put my hands up in the air and say I don't know what it is. And that's this bottle here. I don't know what it does. Um, whatever it is, this is busted. If you can see that there, yeah, that's busted off. It should be held on, and it's not. And also note there, you see, there are no wires to this side. Very strange. Um, and again, the shock on this side. Okay, well, and the bush here. Look. 
that's that's gone and the bottom uh, bush there on this shock gone so it, it's good to have a poke around guys when you've uh, got these covers off nothing too untoward here that bush isn't looking too good on that frame but uh, I don't think that's anything to particularly worry about at the moment uh, it's annoying to see that there's some oil here I'll have to figure out where that's coming from do not like oil leaks all right uh, so now next thing is to undo these nuts in here and get this baby off here I'm gonna cover this one in PB block Ooh, pardon me PB blaster <coughs> again there you can see how bad these shock bushes are well it's 1999 this car can't say I'm surprised but definitely need to get those replaced all right I have moved to the other side of the car at the moment and I just wanted to show you uh, the removal of the links also show you up there see how this is all rotted away something else I shall have to deal with all right now I have removed this nut here and uh, got that out of the way and the next one is to undo this bottom one here and on one side what do we have we have a 13 millimeter here and on the other side is a 15 millimeter and that should allow us to remove just pulls out actually that's nice and clean that's good news no corrosion there and the link now just comes out and as you can see this is <laughs> this is ridiculously loose it should not be like that that is terrible all right now my next trick <laughs> god knows how I'm gonna do this is to get the bolts out so that I can slide the new bushes on um, I'll do one side first and then I'll show you on the other side all right I have managed to take the driver's side sway bar uh, bush out and the link and I can tell you that is a pain in the ass to do what a really bad design this uh, bracket and these two bolts are so awkward to get to I'll show you on the other side how I got to those um, which is the same but on the driver's side and this is the left on an American vehicle the bolt at the back is pressed up against a compressor hose makes it not very easy now this is the old bush as you can see it is somewhat cattle trucked and that is English rhyming slang and you'll have to figure that out for yourself and this is the nice new one do note the little um, square piece at the bottom so that when it's in there it fits nicely like that and this is the uh, sway bar link as you can see this one is um, a little bit on the broken side and it's actually quite solid I'm not sure if that's quite good or bad I think it's actually bad on this one and the bush this end is shot and there's the nice new one with the nice new nut and the old one had a place on it to put a wrench so that when you're undoing it you could hold the shaft still this one does it with a, an allen key I'm not sure which I prefer to be honest probably with the allen key purely because you can't always get a wrench on these 
All right, uh, next thing I will show you is the bleh, passenger side taking out these two bolts. And do note these bolts have that little red stuff on there, which is Loctite. You don't really want the sway bar bushes coming out. All right, over to the passenger side. Well, I have to say, this is one of the most awkward firking things to do. And I would love to get hold of a car designer and shove the rough end of a pineapple up their ass because they just don't give a damn about a mechanic. And that includes the ones that work in the dealerships. They don't care about them either. As you can see, I've got a pry bar in here and I'm just gently prying up this pipe so that I could get the bolt in there just above my finger. Um, this, sorry for the panting, it's a bit of a struggle under here. Uh, the bush here has a, uh, a lip that fits into the frame and also there is a, uh, a notch on the sway bar itself that fits into the rubber of the bush. So uh, there's a groove in the bush, you will see it. Now, uh, I always like to put copper grease on these things. It helps it prevent it from rusting and also does help it move. I put it on both the strap that's gone over the top of the bush and also inside the bush. I don't put a lot, just a, just a light smearing it. To, it helps it. So um, I will show you in a second how to uh, undo these bolts. And uh, these ones I'm going to do up a little further. And then I'll show you on the uh, right-hand side of the vehicle, uh, over here in the good old US of A, that's the passenger side, um, how to undo those bolts. This is a, a penis in a thorectomus. All right, give me a second. Okay. <clears throat> uh, it's kind of hard to see on this side. The bolt is up there above my finger. And then the other one, again, above my finger. They are 10 millimeter. Um, I find it very handy to use this kind of wrench, which has got a little offset, and it is a ratchet. Ratchet! And, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sorry guys, got carried away there. Uh, then, and I, I, I can't tell if you're seeing this, I'm sorry. But let, let, let me just tell you that putting it in here to undo it, it, this way up is easy. And the same here, this way up is easy, but sometimes because of this little cutout here, it makes it easy to do it this way. Um, so I'm going to loosen those bolts now. And as I mentioned before, this is the most effing awkward job I've had to do on this car, and it really should have been so simple. Um, now I'm going to start swearing at engineers again. All right, going to cut this off here, and uh, we'll come back to you in a moment. All right, in order to get easier access on the passenger side, you need to remove this shield. It is a seven millimeter bolt. <laughs> and if you XK8 guys are not already a fan, you should go to to the garage. It's a, a fellow Brit up in the northern part of England. And he does a lot of shit on uh, Jaguar XK8s. And one of the amusing things he did was with this particular shield. I will not explain it anymore. I will make you go to his website, to the garage, and view it. It's amusing. <laughs> uh, funny. But he is good-natured about it and as you can now see with that shield out of the way I have better access to the top of the bracket that holds in 
the sway bar mount. Uh, can't see any point in showing you how I remove the bolt. You shove your arm up there, you bend it in 17 different directions, you remove all sorts of skin from your body, and finally you will get the bolt out. Do note, all of this I have done without finishing the other side, purely because it allows me to, if I can show you, move this bar up and down as I need to, to get done what I need to get done. And once I have the bushes in place, then I'll put the sway bar links back on, or the drop links, or whatever you want to call them. All right, time to undo those bolts. All right, just wanted to show you this. I finally got the bush out on the passenger side, or at least what's left of it. This is what happens, guys, when a car is A, not maintained, and B, was born in 1999, and it is now 2020. So it's kind of been there for a few years, and it's rotted away. So uh, keep an eye on these things if you've got an old vehicle. Um, and I would suggest, if they've never been replaced, just replace the damn things, because they ain't going to be doing what they should be doing. All right. Next will be me wrapping it up. But it ain't going to be quick. All right. It's uh, sway bar link time. Now, these new ones, uh, they have a, uh, I believe it is, uh, hang on, excuse me, one second, boys. What the hell? Ah, that's a six millimeter, and hopefully you can see this. That goes in the end there. That's a six millimeter, and uh, put some hair around it, Gary. You get it in. There we go. Okay, six millimeter. Uh, the nut itself is a eighteen millimeter. The bolt that goes through the bottom, through there has a nut that is a 15 millimeter and a bolt head that is a 13 millimeter my god guys why don't you try and make it fucking difficult all right so that slips through there Not easily, because you've got to give it a little bit of a tweak. There we go. And so then this nut goes on here. I'm already giving you the sizes. And then there's the bolt. Goes in here. And shoves itself into that hole there. Look, if I can put it in with my hand, you can put it in with whatever you want to put it in with. I'm just going to tap it the last bit. There she blows. Just a little tough. Don't worry about it. I didn't damage anything. All right, now I put the nut on. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this before when I was talking about the bushes. Yeah, you can't see them, unfortunately. Um, those bushes have notches, and you've got to feel those mothers and get them in the right place. Because if you don't, you're going to have troubles. There is a groove, sorry, there is a ridge on the sway bar itself. There is a groove on the bush. There is a groove on the subframe. And there is a uh, protrusion on the bush itself and it all fits together nicely and if you do not feel it and you really do have to feel it because you can't see shit because the idiots that designed this car are idiots haha -ha, um 
so you need to feel it in position make sure you get everything lined up correctly take your time don't rush at it if you do you're going to cause yourself all sorts of grief it's taken me ages to do this whereas normally it would be a I don't know a 20 minute job to replace all of this I've been working on this for a couple of hours because I need to get everything in position and get it correct and getting bolts out etc so hopefully this helps uh, you don't really need to see me do these up you can do things up um, but do check everything whilst you're here in this area not sure if I'm going to replace my springs not quite sure what this is up here whether it's just the plain shock mount strut mount if it is it needs replacing and the mystery tank I still do not know what that is and what is amusing is yes, yes it's broken you know there, there, there's a ridge there that should hold it onto this tank but it's it's come off and there is a filter there which is something I should clean but until I find out what it is I can't replace the cap and that's all I need to do is replace that cap so if any of you know the hell this tank is please let me know as Toya Wilcox used to say and I believe it was her it's a mystery it's a mystery only she did it so much better than me but then again she's a lot better looking than I am all right this is the end of this particular video would love to hear your response I know I've never oh it's not quite true what I'm about to say I have asked before I would love it if you guys would subscribe and uh, like my videos I don't care if you like them <laughs> just subscribe and uh, click on the bell that way when I put more crap out there you will be disturbed to know and that's it well you'll be disturbed then you'll be like me because I'm pretty disturbed lots of interesting things under these wheel arches aren't there oh look it's an elephant trunk hmm headlights fog lights what the hell is that there is so much shit on modern cars hidden away and you don't know what the hell it is there to do Aha! Uh -huh. Feeling this. That's something to do with the alarm system. Though I haven't got a clue what that is. Well, live and learn. Hey, John, to the garage. What are these things? Tell me. You are the font of all knowledge. Well, okay, you're not the font of all knowledge, but you're a pretty clever fucker. <laughs> Alright, we're going to be done here now, I'm going to wrap this up, I'll be back to do the bushes and to do the shocks, well that's a whole nother video to amuse you. Good night one and all, and as they say, it is a good night from me, and it is a good night from him. And thank you Ronnie Barker and Ronnie Corbett for making my life interesting and giving me shit to laugh at. And any people that don't know who they are, go find out. The two Ronnies. <laughs>